Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper. Do you want to see a great antenna for VHF and UHF, and uh, which is uh, portable, easy to make, and cheap? Don't we all? Here it is. It's made of ladder line and it's called a Slim Jim. I'll show you the details. So here's the end of it. This is the feed point. The end is shorted here. There's a certain distance here and I'll post a, uh, a graph, uh, a chart of the uh, dimensions. Uh, there is a calculator online. Uh, I'll post a link in the description and you'll be able to calculate your own Slim Jim. I've made uh, some for a six meter, uh, a two meter and uh, the uh, 70 centimeter band. There is a gap here at a quarter wave from the bottom. I need to find a way to uh, reinforce this part here because it's just, you know, it's just one wire holding it. It's pretty strong, but I'd, I'd like to have something that connects those two uh, plastic uh, dividers here to make it a little stronger. I tried to epoxy uh, something on here, but it didn't stick to the plastic. So. So the feed point, we go to the end of the antenna and it's shorted here on the end. Now the, uh, you'll wonder probably how do I connect this to my radio? Well, I'll show you. I use a BNC connector. It's a uh, BNC to uh, post uh, connector and it's made so that it fits exactly the spacing of the ladder line. There we go. And here I have a power connector. So this is a double BNC male. And you can co connect your coax uh, right there. And that's it. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, one thing that you have to uh, remember about this antenna, though, is that you need to use it with a choke, an RF choke. If you don't use a choke on your feed line, your SWR is going to be all over the place. Uh, and you're going to have a, a common mode currents. You're going to have currents going back to the radio, and uh, um, it's just not good. <laughs> Trust me on that. So use a choke, uh, don't put it uh, directly here on the uh, output of the, uh, just leave a little bit of coax and uh, put the choke a little bit uh, down the road. And uh, it works great. Uh, the uh, calculations from the program, the, the online calculator are spot on. So uh, uh, you won't have to uh, do much uh, testing. Uh, well, I had to cut, I think about an inch off the top. Uh, but that's about it. That's the only correction I had to do. And you hang it and uh, you have your two meter antenna, which is much better than a rubber ducky that uh, you're going to be, uh, that you get with a handheld. So uh, this is very portable. You can put it in a backpack very easily, take it with you and deploy it wherever you have to use it. Hang it in a tree or something out of a fiberglass pole and uh, that's it. The weather is so nice today. It's not very often in the north of France. <laughs> the winters are pretty bad. But of course we're in July. And here's the Slim Jim uh, mounted. Simply hanging. And here you see the feed point. With a little bit of coax and going to an RF choke. A little bit of RG174 coax and going to the ICOM IC251 radio. You can see my battery setup here. This is a Molex connector going to the battery with Anderson poles. And I also have connected here a voltage monitor. It isn't flickering basically uh, when I look at it, but on the camera it is. 
and the radio. I also want to test my, uh, I made a, um, a tone generator. Actually, I bought a tone generator board, which I installed in a case, and I'll show you uh, that right now. The uh, tone board I uh, bought from an eBay seller in South Africa. I'll post his username. Uh, I just got a plastic case with a 9 volt uh, compartment. And uh, I got his board because uh, it was small. And uh, you can get bigger ones in China, but uh, this one was pretty attractive to me. And it fits in the box uh, great. I put an LED in here. The wiring is very messy because I just didn't care, I was in a hurry. Uh, I put a switch and I put an RCA connector and I hope it's going to work. <laughs> I really like that the uh, IC251E has a built-in SWR meter. Okay, let's set it. Just about here. And now I'm going to put it into SWR mode. There's a switch here. And see the uh, SWR. Whoa, that's not good. <laughs> it might be the choke. I think the choke is too close to the uh, to the Slim Jim. I put the choke at the radio instead of uh, at the antenna and now we have about a 221 SWR which is the maximum but uh, it will do for the test. So as you saw when I uh, transmitted uh, it didn't trigger the relay, the repeater. So now I'm going to turn on the, uh, the tone uh, board and see if it triggers the repeater. Well, the tone injection doesn't work, so I have to check uh, my wiring and uh, see if I missed anything. But uh, the Slim Jim is working. I did get a much better SWR before, but the antenna was high up on a pole, so uh, Slim Jims don't like to be near stuff. Uh, you have to get the antenna in the clear. And uh, it did work much better with the, uh, the choke at the radio with a longer coax. Um, so uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's a great antenna. It's just not its uh, best environment here. Uh, it's usable at two, two to one SWR, but uh, I wouldn't uh, talk for too long uh, at that setting. Great antenna, it just uh, costs a few dollars. Have a good one.